Check Your Health is sponsored by Intermountain Health and the Utah Department of Health and Human Services. September is National Suicide Prevention Month, a time to destigmatize shame around mental health. And it gives us an opportunity to really spotlight the importance of talking about suicide prevention, bringing it sort of out of the shadows. Doctors say there are three key words to remember, know, help, and cope. Know the warning signs like changes in behavior or mood and talking about death or hopelessness. There are a lot of people who do keep a lot of pain and suffering to ourselves. So I think just opening up community conversations about it, encouraging people who not to suffer in silence. Regularly check in with yourself and others. Experts say if you think someone might be considering suicide, don't be afraid to ask them and open the conversation. I know sometimes we've been told that, oh, that might plant the idea for somebody. But that's been shown through lots of research to not be true. What that really does is it opens up the opportunity to have that dialogue to really somebody to either say yes or they can say no, but here's what else is going on in my life. And for those who've lost a loved one to suicide, there are also resources to help cope. Definitely don't suffer in silence. You know, we want people to get the help that they deserve and need and want people to live, you know, meaningful lives. Support is available 24-7 if you or someone you know needs help. Call Intermountain's free behavioral health navigation line at 833-442-2211 or the National Suicide Lifeline at 988. I'm Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.